Welcome to Gadgets Pod. You can also watch this video in Hindi or other languages. Just click the settings icon on the YouTube video. Go to audio tracks and select Hindi or the language of your choice. Enjoy the video. Accessing your home devices, like your NAS, smart dashboard, or personal server, securely from anywhere is easier than you think. Let's be honest, when most people hear VPN, they think of a complicated setup, constant maintenance, and a whole lot of tech jargon. But what if you could securely access your home network without opening any ports or dealing with that VPN headache? That's where Twingate comes in, a modern zero trust solution that makes secure remote access simple, powerful, and private. In this video, I'll guide you through setting up Twingate using a Raspberry Pi as a connector. It's compact, low power, and perfect for a 24 seven setup. Of course, you can use an old PC or laptop if that's what you have, but we recommend the Raspberry Pi. It's easy to configure, energy efficient, and takes almost no space. By the end of this video, you'll be able to securely access your internal network and devices from anywhere in the world without exposing your setup to the internet. Let's dive in and get started with Twingate. So what makes Twingate stand out from traditional VPNs and other remote access tools? First, no open ports. That's huge. Unlike a typical VPN, Twingate doesn't require you to expose your router or network to the internet, meaning fewer risks and no headaches with port forwarding or dynamic DNS. Second, it follows a zero trust architecture, which basically means no one gets access unless they're verified. Even if someone knows your IP or tries to scan your network, they won't see a thing. Third, it's device and platform friendly. Twingate runs on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android, and yes, even on headless devices like a Raspberry Pi. So you can securely connect from anywhere on anything. And finally, smart routing. Unlike traditional VPNs that tunnel all your traffic through a central server, Twingate only routes traffic that needs to go to your private resources. That means faster speeds, better performance, and less lag. In short, it's secure, invisible to the outside world, easy to scale, and doesn't slow you down. That's why Twingate is trusted by both individuals and large teams alike. Let's take a quick look at how Twingate works. Don't worry, I'll keep it super simple. Think of your home network as a private island. Normally, to access it from the outside world, you'd build a bridge, but that means leaving it exposed to anyone who finds the bridge. Twingate does things differently. Instead of a bridge, it uses a secure tunnel, but the tunnel is invisible from the outside. Only you know it's there. Here's how it works. First, you set up a connector inside your home network. That's the device we'll install Twingate on, like a Raspberry Pi. This connector sits quietly inside your network, listening for secure connection requests. Next, for accessing home devices from outside of home network, you install the Twingate client app on your laptop or phone. This is what you'll use to securely connect to your home network from anywhere. Now, both the connector and your client app talk to something called the Twingate controller, a secure cloud-based service that handles authentication and routing. It doesn't see your actual data, it just verifies who you are and helps you reach your destination securely. When you try to access a device inside your home, like your NAS, server, or dashboard, the controller verifies your identity and then tells your device how to securely tunnel the request to the connector at home. No open ports, no public IP exposure at all. Just a secure, private, and seamless connection. It's like having your own private access lane to your home network always encrypted, always invisible to the outside world. All right, now that you know what makes Twingate so unique, let's go over what you'll need to get started. First, a Twingate account. The good news? Twingate offers a completely free starter plan that's perfect for individuals and home users. It gives you access to one remote network, allows up to five users, and includes everything you need to securely access your home devices without spending a single rupee or dollar. Second, a device to act as your connector. In this video, we're using a Raspberry Pi because it's compact, energy efficient, and designed to run quietly 24 seven. But if you have an old laptop or desktop lying around, that works too. Just make sure it's always connected to your home network. Third, a stable internet connection. Ideally, your connector device should be connected via ethernet for better reliability. 
especially if it's going to stay on all the time. And fourth, a micro SD card for the Raspberry Pi. This is where we'll install the operating system and run the twin gate connector. A card with at least 16 gigabyte of storage is recommended. Finally, a laptop or device you'll use to access your home network remotely. This will help you test the setup and confirm that you can securely connect to your internal devices while you're outside your home network. That's it. With these basics and TwinGate's free plan, you'll be ready to create your own secure private network tunnel in no time. All right, now it's time to set everything up. We're going to go through five quick steps to get your TwinGate remote access up and running. Step one, create your TwinGate account. Let's begin by signing up for a TwinGate account. Just head over to TwinGate.com. On the homepage, click the button that says, Get Started for Free. You'll be asked to sign up using either your Google account or an email address. The process is simple, and the best part, no credit card is needed. TwinGate's starter plan is completely free, and it's perfect for home users or small setups. Next, enter a few basic details just for organizing your setup. Once submitted, your TwinGate admin console will be created instantly. This is your central dashboard where you'll manage your devices, users, and network access. That's it. You've got your account, you're in the dashboard, and you're ready to begin building your secure remote access solution. Step two, set up your remote network. This defines your home or private network, the one you want to access securely from anywhere. After logging in, click Add Remote Network. Select your network location as on-premise and then name your network. This is the virtual environment that represents your private devices. You can call it something like Home Network or MyLAN. Once named, you'll be taken into the admin console. Step three, create a connector. Now that we've defined our remote network, it's time to set up the most important part of this whole system the connector. In our case, we'll install this connector on a Raspberry Pi, but you can also use an old laptop or PC that's always on and connected to your home, Wi-Fi, or LAN. To get started, go back to the TwinGate dashboard. Click on your remote network, then select Deploy a Connector tab. Click on Add Connector and give it a name, something like Home Pi Connector or anything that helps you recognize it. Next, choose your deployment method. Since we're using a Raspberry Pi running Linux, select Linux. TwinGate will now prompt you to generate connector tokens. These are used to securely link the connector with your TwinGate account. When you click on Generate Tokens, you'll be asked to re-authenticate for security. Just sign in again with your credentials to proceed. Once authenticated, your unique token values will appear. Go ahead and copy them and keep them handy. I recommend pasting them into a notepad file for now. Next, TwinGate will display a Linux install command that includes your connector details and the tokens you just generated. Copy this command, but don't run it just yet. We'll use it in the next step when we install the connector on your Raspberry Pi. You'll now see the connector listed in your TwinGate dashboard. It'll show as offline for now. That's expected. We'll bring it online shortly. All right. Now let's bring our connector to life by setting it up on a Raspberry Pi. Make sure your Raspberry Pi is running Raspberry Pi OS and is connected to your home network, either via Ethernet or Wi-Fi. You'll also need a micro SD card with the OS installed and the Pi should have internet access. If you're new to Raspberry Pi and not sure how to install the OS or set it up, don't worry. I've already covered that in a separate video. You'll find the link in the description below or in the top right corner of the screen right now. That video will walk you through everything step by step, from flashing the OS onto an SD card using Raspberry Pi Imager to getting the Pi connected. Once your Raspberry Pi is ready, open a terminal window, either directly using a keyboard and monitor or remotely through SSH. Since we're already on the Raspberry Pi, just open the text file where you save the command, copy it, then paste it directly into the terminal and hit enter. This will begin installing the connector and securely link your Pi to your TwinGate setup. The script will automatically download the connector package, install it, and register it to your account. In just a few seconds, your connector will show up as connected in the TwinGate dashboard. 
That means it's now securely linked and running in the background. And the best part, the Raspberry Pi is low power, compact, and doesn't need a monitor once it's set, so you can tuck it away and just let it do its thing. With the connector now online, we are ready for the next step, adding the devices and services you want to access remotely. Step four, add a resource. With your connector set up, it's time to define what you actually want to access remotely. These are called resources in TwinGate. Resources can be anything on your home network, like a control surface, smart lights, entertainment system, temperature controller, appliances, security devices, or even a specific internal IP address or port. To add one, head over to the Resources tab in the TwinGate dashboard and click on Add Resource. Give it a clear and friendly name, something like Home Router or MyNAS. This name is what you'll see when accessing it later. Then, enter the internal IP address or hostname of the device. For example, if internal IP address of your router is 192.168.150, enter that. If the service runs on a custom port, like 8080 or 5000, you can specify that too. You'll also find options to tag or group resources, which is useful for managing many devices or networks. But you can skip this for now. Plus, you can choose which users get access to each resource, but since we haven't added users yet, just select everyone for now. Once everything looks good, hit save. And just like that, your resource is ready to be accessed securely from anywhere through TwinGate. And that's it. You can repeat this process to add as many resources as you want to access securely from outside your network via TwinGate. Step five, add yourself as a user. Finally, it's time to add the users who will be allowed to access your network remotely, starting with yourself. By default, your admin account is already added, but it's recommended to create a separate user account specifically for accessing your resources from outside your network. This helps keep things organized and secure, especially if you're managing multiple devices or plan to share access later. Go to the Teams tab in the TwinGate dashboard and click Add User. Enter your email address where TwinGate will send the invitation to join your secure network. You can assign the appropriate role using the Roles option. Once you accept the invite, your devices like your laptop, phone, or tablet can securely connect to your home network using TwinGate. This step is crucial because it controls who has permission to access your resources, keeping your network safe and private. Later, if you want to share access with family members or colleagues, you can simply add more users here. Now that we've added ourselves as a user, the status still shows as pending, and that's expected and will be updated after we log in to this client account. So far, we've set up TwinGate on our home network and linked it to the TwinGate controller through our account. The final step is to install the TwinGate client on our remote device. Let's now complete the setup by installing the TwinGate client on your laptop or mobile device. Step one, install the client. Head over to get.twingate.com on the device you want to use as a client. You will see options for different platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. Choose the one that matches your device and download the installer. In my case, I'm selecting the Windows version as I'll be using my laptop to access the home network remotely. Once installed, open the app. Step two, log into your network. You'll be asked to enter your organization name. This is the subdomain you chose while setting up your TwinGate account. For example, in our case, our admin dashboard is hosted at gadgetspodofficial.twingate.com. Just type in gadgetspodofficial, sign in using your registered email address and authorize the login. Once you've installed and signed into the TwinGate client, head back to your TwinGate dashboard. You'll now see that your user status has changed from pending to enabled, meaning your client device is successfully linked and ready to access resources remotely. That's it. Your TwinGate account and dashboard setup are now complete. You've created your network, added a connector, defined your resources, and invited yourself as a user. With the TwinGate client installed, everything is fully configured and ready to go. Before we start testing, let's run through a quick checklist to make sure everything's in place for a smooth experience. 
First, make sure your Raspberry Pi is powered on and connected to your home network, either through Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Next, confirm that it has active internet access so it can talk to the TwinGate cloud. Then, head to your TwinGate dashboard and check that the connector status shows as online. Also, ensure that the TwinGate client is installed and running on your remote device. In our case, that's the Windows laptop. Make sure this client laptop connected to external network. Once all that's done, we're ready to test our setup. All right, now that our checklist is complete, let's put our setup to the test. On your remote device, the one running the TwinGate client, go ahead and launch the app. Log into your TwinGate user account and enter your organization name when prompted. Once you're connected, you'll see the TwinGate client status change to connected. That means your device now has a secure tunnel to your home network. Now, try accessing an internal resource you added earlier. In our case, we had added our router's local IP address as a resource. So, I'll open a browser and type in the internal IP address of my router, and just like that, it loads. Even though we're outside the home network, it's like we're right there on the LAN. And the best part? We haven't opened a single port on our router. Everything is secure and invisible from the outside world. You can also confirm that your remote device is securely connected to your home network by doing a simple ping test. Open command prompt or terminal and type ping space IP of your resource. This pings our home router. If you see replies, your device is securely connected to your home network through TwinGate. Simple and safe. Let's try adding another device as a resource. In this case, my MacBook that's connected to my home network. Head over to the TwinGate dashboard, go to the Resources tab and click Add Resource. Give it a name like Home MacBook and enter the internal IP address of the MacBook. Save the resource and now let's test it. On the client device, which is outside the home network, open the terminal or command prompt and run ping IP address of resource. If you get a response, it means your MacBook is now securely reachable through TwinGate, even from anywhere in the world. With TwinGate, you can securely access just about anything on your home network. Your home assistant setup, NAS storage, IP cameras, Raspberry Pi apps, smart switches, or even your router interface. If it has a local IP, you can reach it securely with no ports open to the outside world. The possibilities are unlimited, whether you are automating your home, managing devices remotely, or just keeping things simple and safe. Once everything was set up, I placed the Raspberry Pi right next to its buddy, the router, where it now silently and securely does its job 24-7. No noise, no fuss, just reliable remote access. And that is the power of TwinGate, private access made easy. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and share it with others. And I would love to hear how you are using TwinGate. Drop your setup or experience in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another Raspberry Pi project very soon. Until then, stay safe and stay connected.